Hey guys, so today I want to share with you a new bracelet that I developed. It is a fire starting Mad Max style bracelet. So if you're unfamiliar with the Mad Max style paracord bracelets, it's going to be this one right here. I originally got this idea from Board Paracord. Uh, here's his YouTube channel right here. He's got some really good stuff, guys. So if you like paracord or making stuff, check him out. But this is the Mad Max style bracelet. It's called that because it's from the movie Mad Max with Tom Hardy. He was caught wearing this thing. And this is a very unique style bracelet. I haven't seen too many other paracord bracelets like this. Usually they have some kind of buckle, but this one's unique because it's adjustable. You can cinch it down on your wrist. If your wrist is smaller or if you want more slack, you can widen that and then you got more slack. Very cool. And you can also wear it two different styles. I like to wear it both, both ways. It just depends. So I can wear it like that. If you want that kind of more style of two bands, it's not screaming tactical or military like this this side, you know, everyone's seen this before. So you can wear both options, I like both, but pretty cool. And what I did was I took that concept and I tweaked it and kind of improved upon it by making a fire starter bracelet. That's me, this one right here. Now, there's three major differences between this one and this one. And that's gonna be, for one, it has a ferro rod or a ferrocerium rod. Two, it has a awesome ceramic striker these things are extremely hard and they strike ferro rods very, very well to make nice sparks. And then three is the knot. This is essentially a double overhand knot. And there, I'll tell you why I did that later on. But for this one, or at least for the original video and the original design of the Mad Max style bracelet, you're supposed to kind of seal it off and then burn the end so it's kind of more permanent. But I'll touch on why I did that later on. But yeah, I wanted to make a fire starter bracelet of my favorite style, basically, and I think this is probably one of the best fire starter bracelets I've ever seen. And I'm not even joking. Like, I know I made this thing, so that sounds kind of arrogant, but I haven't seen any other things in the market or bracelets that can do what this thing can do, honestly. So, like, this one, for example, um, I stole this from my wife. She won it from a contest at her work recently, and I took it from her. <laughs> but um, this one's got a mini ferro rod inside the clasp and it's cool I mean this thing is kind of like a jack of all trades bracelet it's got a little compass and a whistle and a mini ferro rod but when it comes to pure fire making I would definitely rather have this one than this a few reasons why is the striker I mean it is good it has its teeth that can really scrape off material I mean, as you can see it scraped it off but those teeth also leave all these I just don't like that how it's all like inconsistent and you can see like gashes. Whereas this one right here with the ceramic, it's a much smoother grind using that ceramic striker. This one, it's kind of jagged all over the place. And not only that, this fair rod is way smaller. If you compare this thing to this, this one's gonna last much longer. And another thing as to why I don't like this style compared to this one is once this ferro rod is gone, I mean, you could do this side as well, but it's so small that eventually, as you're removing material, it's gonna snap off and you can't replace it. So that's the thing. Once this thing's gone, this bracelet is no longer a fire starting bracelet. That thing's gone, it's toast. You can't really fix it. I mean, maybe with some super strong glue if you want to try that, but when it's gone, it's gonna be a hassle. Whereas one of the other cool features about this guy is you can change this out. So, Unlike this one where it's more a permanent knot that's sealed off, I did a double overhand on purpose because that way if the overuse, if you want to swap this ferro rod out or the striker, you can easily just untie this and then replace it out. So I'll show you. And this is a really strong knot in itself, so don't worry about anything falling out, but you can just undo it like that, pull everything through those little holes. There's a striker and then you can take that ferro rod out. And this is the side I was using. I just demonstrated that I could flip it basically. So let's say once you use one side completely, when it gets close to these holes, you can just put it back on and flip it the other way so you have a fresh side. But in practical use right now, I'm actually using the finished side. No, sorry, the uh, silver side that I've been striking. So you just put it back on just like that. And then get it through the holes, you can twist it. Pull that through. Same thing on the other side. Go 
There we go. And then you can cinch that down. And then get your striker. Put that through. And then it's just a double overhand knot, which is pretty easy. You just take them both and then bring them down, under, and then around. It's a little tricky looking through the camera and doing this. Bear with me. All right, so get that through. And then I like to push that knot as far to the edges as possible, so I'll kind of guide it and then really get that down. There we go. So then there you have it. So now there's a the striking side. And also, it's kind of uncomfortable for me to use it like this, like, this, like for this design, for example, or is this one to use this to actually make sparks. What we're gonna do is push this all the way down. So the majority of the bracelet is now like a handle. Grip that, thumb gets pushed in there, holding everything really tight. Then you got all this space to use the striker. Then you're just gonna push it in there, get that sharp 90 degree corner in there and then 45 degree cant pressure first and then speed and it's gonna give some good sparks like i'm telling you this ceramic striker is such a good striker for how small it is and you're gonna get some good sparks off this so i kind of like that and then as far as wearing it goes you can just get it on your hand get it over pull it down I, I like to make it a little bit tight so it's kind of a struggle to get it on that way it's pretty well form fitted to my wrist you know, if it's too easy to slip on, it's gonna be, you're gonna have a lot more slack even than this right here. But again, it's adjustable. I mean, if you want some slack, you can kind of wear it loose like that. If you want to tighten it down, you can. And now it's super secure. And then you, you do have this hanging out. So if you don't want this thing hanging around, you can just put that striker down, take that knot, flip it through one of the bands, and then that's gonna hold it down. So you can wear it like this way, or you can wear it more traditional way. But yeah, everything's kind of out of the way, nice and secure, and it feels really good. All right, so I wanna do some demonstration on how to use this bracelet to make fires. So we got some natural tinder over here. This is river birch bark that I processed down a bit. And then we got some dry lint over here. So again, you're just gonna cinch that down, just make a nice little handle, push your thumb against the backside, grab that striker, come down, there you go. See if we can get the dryer lint too while that one's burning. It's pretty cute, huh? And there it is, folks. Let's go back inside. All right, so in closing, guys, I think this is a pretty awesome fire starting bracelet. It's the Mad Max style, so it's unique and kind of cool and flashy, and it's adjustable, and great striker, great ferro rod. And then you can change this ferrod out, which, like I said, I haven't seen that anywhere else on any kind of fire starting bracelet. So you can easily swap this out for a fresh new one if you need to. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.